Welcome everyone to another manufacturer tour. I personally love this series because it lets you kind of get take a peek under the hood, look behind the curtain and see how these amazing RVs are built. And today it's especially fun because I am joined by Mark Kroll. He has been in the industry for a very long time and he is heading uh, east to west Ahara. We are in the Ahara facility, brand new fifth wheel. Mark, my friends, take it away, buddy. Tell me all about this beauty. So we're super excited. This is a brand new state-of-the-art 100,000 square foot factory here on the East to West campus. Um, we opened this factory at the end of 2021. Uh, we build at very low production rates to maintain a real high degree of quality. And as we're gonna show you through here is, you know, East to West fifth wheels are designed with quality in mind. And I'm gonna show you all the big key points we do to make these really, really high quality fifth wheels. So, you know, we're in the chassis area here. So we're gonna start by talking about um, our holding tanks and our enclosed and insulated underbelly. So as you look at our underbelly right here, we have enclosed, we have the radiant technology insulation in the bottom. That's a foil insulation that's gonna reflect hot air. We do pump hot air from our big 40,000 BTU furnace into this underbelly. And that helps keep the tanks from freezing up and also the water lines. But along with that, we use Rotocast holding tanks. Um, this is a big upgrade over fifth wheels that were built in the past with two piece holding tanks. These are all seamless and blow molded so you don't have um, seams anywhere. But also we put 12 volt heat pads in all our tanks. Um, you can see that right here by the drain. This is connected to a switch inside. These are thermostatically controlled. So if you turn these on and it's above 40 degrees, they're not gonna produce heat. Um, but they will produce a nice level of heat when you're below 40 degrees to keep ice from forming here right at the drain. Um, so the heat pads combined with the hot air we pump into the underbelly do a great job of protecting your holding tanks from freezing up. So, so Mark, with these, with the heat pads, so even if you turn those on if, and, you know, you say again, it's, it's above 40, they won't fire up, right? They won't, oh, that's cool. It's got kind of a built-in thermostat onto it. We have 45-gallon gray tanks, 45-gallon black tanks, so all of our models have at least two gray tanks. Um, our double bathroom 378 has two black tanks. Um, so great capacities plus a 63 gallon freshwater tank in every Ahara fifth wheel. Now another key part of our foundation is this is a fifth wheel that's hydraulic based. So we are using hydraulic slide outs on a lower level. Um, this is the 378 BHOK frame. So this is the little 60 inch uh, bunk room slide out. We've got the hydraulic ram right here. And one of the key things, this is what's actually gonna move the slide in and out with the power of hydraulics right here. But these arms are synchronized with this rack and pinion here. So this, as one arm is pushed out, this, this brings both arms out together. One of the beautiful thing about the hydraulic slides, very easy to adjust. I've got adjustment points here and here. So over time, a year, five years, 10 years down the line, if I need to adjust this slide up and down or left or right to, hit the perfect spot with the slide seals, the perfect spot with the floor, it can be adjusted very, very easily for the long haul. Now Ian's standing right by one of the hydraulic jacks. This is a six point hydraulic leveling system. The rear jacks are back here. Um, and of course, there's a second set of jacks in front of the tires, and then the final set of jacks up front. That is one of the premium features on the Hara fifth wheel to give you the ultimate auto leveling system in fifth wheels, which is the hydraulic auto leveling system. Let's move up to the drop frame section because one of the other key features of the Ahara is that we're giving you this massive pass-through storage compartment and what makes that possible is the drop frame. So in this section right here, we can see where the frame's welded together. So we don't have a section of frame coming through here. We're gaining all of this space right here into our drop frame pass-through storage. So that is how we achieve 150 cubic feet is because we've got all this extra height and width and giving you that. Now on top of that, one of the things that's a little bit hard to tell here in the factory is this is a wide body fifth wheel. So instead of it being it's 96 inch wide chassis, it's 101 inches wide. And what that does is it gives us a wider pass through storage compartment, wider axles, and also a wider stance for the hydraulic leveling. So we're gonna get more stability when we're parked, more stability when we're towing, and an extra five inches of storage in the pass through storage compartment. Now the last thing I wanna show you up here is yeah. the new space saver frame. So Lippert redesigned this frame a few years ago for the modern fifth wheel. Fifth wheels have gotten bigger and heavier and you know, 10, 15 years ago, three yeah. slides was big. Now you got five and six slide fifth wheels. So everything in the front end of this fifth wheel has been reinforced and beefed up. Most importantly, this front beam. 
So when we look at the inside, we notice we don't have that big awkward step. And that's because the whole front beam here has been reinforced with a higher strength steel, thicker steel, more reinforcements, better gussets here, all to strengthen the upper deck of the fifth wheel. And the goal of that is to reduce the possibility of frame flex. What you see in a lot of older fifth wheels, and really not that old, two, three, sometimes five years old, is where the sidewall separates from the upper deck. And that's because when the truck gets on the fifth wheel, all that weight causes this to go concave. With this, this frame is way stronger, especially for how light Ahara fifth wheels are, that we do not expect that to be an issue with Ahara fifth wheels over the long term, because we are using the strongest frame that is available on the market. That's awesome. All right, so hey, we're here at the decking station, and one of the other key features of east to west fifth wheel construction is that we use tongue and groove plywood floor decking. So as we can see here, this is 5 8 thick, plywood flooring, four by eight sheets, tongue and groove, so they slot together very nicely. Before this floor goes down, every one of the aluminum studs is covered in glue and screwed down the stud line. So you've got a floor that's adhered to the framing with glues, glue and screws, and of course, tongue and groove together, giving you just a beautiful plywood floor, no OSB in this flooring, much stronger, much more rigid, gonna give you a better foundation for everything we build up on top of this. So we're here at the uh, mid-deck station, and what we've done now is we've actually added the, the vinyl flooring. We use a real high-grade Congolium flooring. We think that's the best option out there right now. But more importantly, you can see we've used our aluminum flooring. This is the mid-deck. This is the section we build off the upper deck, right. and this is typically where the bathroom's at and the front section of the bedroom. This is the area where we can slide our furnace and water heater and other appliances down here, and then our pass-through storage compartment goes right here. And we're building that with a great aluminum foundation here, all welded aluminum framing. So not only is it light, it's strong. And, you know, the biggest benefit of aluminum is that you get straight studs, okay? Sometimes when you use wood framing, you have to deal with some curvature and some imperfect pieces. That's not the case when you're using two inch by three inch aluminum studs. So we're right before the shelling station. I wanna show you two key things here. First one is we do do seamless fiberglass showers. So this is a four foot by two and a half foot seamless fiberglass shower. In the factory, we can see the backside of it. Um, again, residential quality, no seams, more rugged construction. And then here, even back over here, one of our great features in our construction is we use a more robust lumber. You know, most manufacturers will use two inch by one inch or one inch by three inch studs. For our supporting walls, we use two inch by three inch studs. So you can see this is the wall separating the bunk room from the living area in a 378 BHOK. The doorway is fully framed, but the whole wall is framed with two by three lumber, giving you a stronger, straighter wall that's gonna hold up better over the long term. So Ian, we're standing here at the cabinet shop. The okay. cabinet shop is one of our strengths in the Ahara factory. Um, our team leader uh, for the cabinet shop has been building motorhome cabinets for almost 20 years and some very high-end luxury diesel motorhomes. All right. And now she's leading a team to build the cabinets for the Ahara fifth wheels. So we're standing in front of the double door pantry coat closet before it's installed. Uh, we've got a row of these built, but as you pan through the whole cabinet shop, you'll see that we've got plenty of space, great lighting, all the tools we need to build your dressers, kitchen islands, bathroom vanities. Everything that we are gonna fabricate from a cabinet standpoint starts in this shop and then is installed on the assembly line after the walls go up. So, hey, Ian, we're getting ready to enter the shelling department. One of the strengths at East to West is in addition to the brand new factory we have here, we have a brand new state-of-the-art 100,000 square foot lamination facility. And that's where all these walls were fabricated. So, of course, one of the essential ingredients to an Ahara fifth wheel is the Asdel composite panels. So underneath this high gloss fiberglass. We do have Asdel composite panels instead of Luan plywood. Better for the environment, lighter, stronger, quieter, better insulated, and virtually guaranteed not to delaminate. Yep. But even on top of that, we frame our walls very well. Just looking at this wall before it's been installed, the slide out opening is fully framed in aluminum. The little opening for the automatic leveling, the LP compartment, my pass-through storage compartment, my water heater compartment, the furnace, both windows, the whole slide out, everything is completely framed in aluminum. So our guys aren't, our guys and our girls are not free cutting into the wall. 
Yep. They've got a very strong, reinforced, welded aluminum opening with plenty of studs to provide structural strength to this sidewall. You know, Mark, that is super impressive. I've seen a lot of manufacturers, not a lot, I've seen a few manufacturers that will do like the slides and stuff reinforced in aluminum. I think you're the only one that I have seen do all the components all the way through. That's and one of the best fantastic. things about that is we do that in everything we laminated east to west. That's cool. So hey, now we're in the shelling department and we put the wall on this 378 BHOK. I wanna show you something super unique at East to West and that is the use of a P-channel aluminum tube at the bottom of our sidewalls. So if you do the shape of a P, okay, what that is is this piece of square piece of aluminum has a flange coming down here. So when we set the wall on the floor, we can push it up against the side of the floor to get a perfectly flush sidewall to fifth wheel. So instead of coming in at a 45 degree angle, we can come in right here at the side, anchor this into the floor, it's sitting on top of the floor, and we're getting a perfectly flush square design. All right, so hey, we're here at the uh, slide out opening for the kitchen slide. I wanna show you the double wiper seal system we use to keep water and climate in and out of our fifth wheel. So with the double wiper seals, this is gonna help keep moisture out. You got the bulb seal here, which is gonna keep moisture out when the slides are in. And then of course, down along the bottom, we've got this wiper seal to keep road water from coming in as we're towing. Very, very advanced slide out seal design. Again, to keep moisture out, to keep your cool air in on a hot day or your hot air in on a, on a cold day. We think this is one of the best designs on the market. So hey, we're over here in my, our slide out box construction. So I wanna hit home a couple key features. First of all, laminated slide out roof, laminated slide out end walls. This is a bedroom slide out. So we can see it up close here. We can see the Asdell composite panel. We can see the aluminum framing, the fully framed aluminum opening. Um, very strong end wall. But also, I want to show you over here on this corner, the Titan seal that we're using on the corners here. That's a very high-end expensive tape. We'll pull off the liner, and this is what will seal the corners on our slide outs, the corners where our rear wall and front wall meet. Basically, everywhere we have two walls coming together, on lesser fifth wheels and lesser travel trailers, you'll just see sloppy butyl tape here that oozes out of the molding. Yep. You will not see that on an east to west fifth wheel. Okay. Okay, so we're up here in the mezzanine. Um, up top, we have a really, really great roof construction. So our whole roof is put together up here. We've got the Dicor Diflex 2 TPO membrane. It's our favorite membrane for a fifth wheel roof. It's got a 12 year warranty. It's virtually maintenance free. All you need to do with this roof is wash it with a mild detergent and that'll reduce your black streaks. You do not need to seal it with chemicals. Of course, we can see a few of the Hara fifth wheels online with the optional 320 watt solar panel mounted at the factory. And of course, every Ahara fifth wheel has three air conditioners. We've got the WineGuard Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, so we're prepped and ready if you wanna add that router to turn that into a Wi-Fi booster. And a very subtle thing is that small little vent at the back there, that's our vented attic, so that as you breathe, shower, cook, and consume LP inside Nahara fifth wheel and that moisture works its way up into the ceiling, those are a release point where that moisture can get out so that your fifth wheel doesn't end up smelling moldy and musty on the inside. All right, so hey, Ian, we're here at one of our critical testing stations. This is where we test the water systems on every Ahara as it rolls down the production line. We're kind of close to the end of the production line. So what we do here is we use water from this tank and we're going to fill up the whole system, the tanks, the city water connections, the plumbing, and we're going to test all of the plumbing inside this fifth wheel. And then we're going to pull all that water out into this tank and recycle it and use it again. This allows us to find any potential leaks or weaknesses in our plumbing system before we get down to the scales. This is one of the key testing areas inside the Ahara fifth wheel. So Ian, this is another critical testing station. This is where we do our bubble test. And the point of a bubble test is to identify any places where there might be seams or leaks between the walls, between the windows, at the entry door. So what we do is we hook this machine up. We have an attachment we put in the doorway and this fits right in. And we're pressurizing the entire inside of the RV with air. And then we go around the outside, all the seams, all the windows, all the openings, and we spray bubbles, soap. And as we see bubbles pop up, we know that's a spot where we need to put more seal or reevaluate how we've put that part of the fifth wheel together. This is a great thing for helping us prevent any potential leaks for our customers. That's huge. So Ian, we're at the final stage. We're on the scales. This is a finished Ahara 378 BHLK. We've shown you each critical stage of construction. Um, this is where we do our final inspections and 
weigh every fifth wheel individually. So one of the cool things that you'll find inside our doorway is a sticker that gets applied as this coach is weighed. Okay. So our website will show you an average of what an average Ahara fifth wheel weighs. If you wanna know the exact weight of the Ahara fifth wheel you're considering purchasing, you look at the sticker inside the door, it'll tell you exactly how much it weighed when it rolled off our scales. Well, Mark, you have an absolutely fantastic product here. I mean, as we can see inside, it's absolutely gorgeous. I, for me anyway, and the reason I love doing these tours is because it's so important that the RV just doesn't just look nice, that it's built well. And you guys have absolutely done both. I mean, from your sidewalls, you're using Asdell, everything's routed out, so many things are done right. I'm glad that everyone watching got to join us for the tour. So my friend, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks for watching.